March 8. International Women's Day. Mother, sisters, wives, girlfriends, and fiancés, what would we ever do without them? Nobody can honestly say we don't owe an enormous amount to the women in our lives, from the mothers who made us chicken soup when we were sick as children, to the sisters who helped us decide what to wear on our first date, to the wives who somehow managed to juggle both a career and a family, never missing a beat. Women's Day is all about celebrating these incredible people and showing them how much we love, respect, and value them. International Women's Day, it would, day honoring the achievements of women and promoting women's rights. A national holiday in numerous countries, it has been sponsored by the United Nations, UN, since 1975. On 28 February 1909, the first National Women's Day was celebrated within the U.S. The day was selected or designated by the Socialist Party of America. Further, in 1908 at the garment store, employees did strike in New York, and ladies or women protested against operating conditions. International Women's Day grew out of efforts in the early 20th century to promote women's rights, especially suffrage. In its campaign for female enfranchisement, the Socialist Party of America in 1909 held the first National Women's Day, which was highlighted by mass meetings across the United States. The day was observed until 1913. Without exception, the proposal was approved by the conference of over 100 girls or women from 17 countries, consisting of the first three women elected to the Finnish parliament. Encouraged by German activist Clara Zetkin, the International Socialist Congress agreed in 1910 to create an international version of the U.S. holiday. On March 19, 1911, the first IWU was held in Austria, Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland. More than one million people attended rallies marking the day. The IWU was celebrated in additional countries and on varying dates in the ensuing years. On March 8, 1917, women in Petrograd, Russia, marked the day by staging a strike to protest food shortages, poor living conditions, and World War I. The strike for bread and peace helped give rise to the Russian Revolution of 1917, which led to the abdication of Nicholas II on March 15. In 1921 the date of the Iwood was officially changed to March 8. In the following decades, the success of the suffrage movement contributed to a decline in the popularity of the Iwood. However, aided by the growth of feminism in the 1960s and UN sponsorship in 1975, the Iwood experienced a revitalization in the late 20th century. Today, it is an important occasion for promoting women's issues and rights, especially in developing countries. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and subscribe for daily updates.